Shavuot Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yumi Masechet Nazir, we are up to Perek Aleph Mishnah Zayin, today's Mishnah should be Le'elu Nishmat, Neria Ben Svetlana, Ranbai, Veliyahu Ben, Burcha Yisrael, Ovchana Bad Miriam, and Sasson Ben Raya, Menuchatam Began Eden, Amen, and Le'avdir Ben Chaim Lechaim, Vede Refua Shelemav Daniel Shano Ben Rosa, Betor Shach Ole Yisrael. The Mishnah begins, nazir If someone says, I am here by a Nazir, like the number of days of the solar year, nazirut It counts as many standard Nazirut terms as the number of days of the solar year, meaning he keeps 365 terms of Nazirut that are each 30 days long. Had he meant to accept a single term of Nazirut lasting for 365 days, he would simply have said like the days of the solar year. By adding the expression minyan, the number of, the person shows that he is treating the days of the year as separate from one another rather than as one long period of days. In other words, he means to accept upon himself as many terms of Nizirut as the number of days in a solar year. Rabbi Yudha cites a proof for this ruling. Amar Rabbi Yudha, Rabbi Yudha said, kevan sheishlim met. There was indeed such an incident where a person said, I'm here by a nazir like the number of days of the solar year. And when he concluded his nazirut, he died. Rabbi Yudha cites the proof because the Gemara on page 8b in Nazir quotes another Tana, Rebbe, who disagrees with the Tana Kama. According to Rebbe, the vower in our Mishnah is a permanent nazir because his declaration is understood to mean that he will be nazir for all the days the sun exists, meaning forever. Now, if that were the law, the man in the story could have never concluded his term. However, since he had died following the conclusion of his Nizirut, we see that the sages of that time ruled that this man's Nizirut could end. This agrees with the Tanakhama's ruling that he must keep 365 terms of 30 day Nizirut, about 30 years, and he is then done. And the Rav writes, V'chen halacha, this is indeed the halacha. That is the end of Perak Aleph, Mishnah Zayin. We continue with Perak Bet, Mishnah Aleph. The next two Mishnayot discuss someone who makes a vow of Nizirut with regard to items that are permitted to a Nazir. Hareni Nazir mina gerogrot u mina devala. If someone says, I'm here by a Nazir from dried figs or from pressed figs, which a Nazir is permitted to eat, a Nazir is forbidden to eat only great products, as it says in Sefer Bamidbar, chapter 6, verses 3 through 4. Bet Shemai Omrim, Nazir, Bet Shemai Seh is a Nazir. Since he said, I am here by a Nazir, he becomes a Nazir and we disregard the second half of his statement about figs. Therefore, he is an ordinary Nazir who is forbidden to eat great products, cut his hair, or come into contact with a human corpse. He is permitted to eat figs. Now, Bet Shemai maintained that even when a person makes a vow or any legal declaration that seems meaningless, we assume that he intended for it to make sense. Since there is no such thing as Nazirut from figs, we must assume that when he said, I am here by a Nazir, he meant to become a regular Nazir, but he immediately regretted this and tried to take it back by adding from figs. He hopes that mentioning figs will release him from the Nizirut vow since they have nothing to do with Nizirut. Nonetheless, he is a Nazir because Bet Shemai hold that a person cannot undo a vow of Nizirut once it is made. This is based on their view that even a Nizirut made an error takes effect as we will learn in chapter 5 Mishnah 1. Since Nizirut does not apply to figs, his declaration is meaningless and has no effect. According to Bet Hillel, the statement is a single unit, and since there is no Nazirut regarding figs, his declaration is meaningless, therefore he is not a Nazir and is also permitted to eat figs. Now Rabbi Yudah explains Bet Shammai's ruling differently. Amar Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah said, Af kshemru Bet Shammai, even when Bet Shammai said that this declaration is effective, Lo amru ela be'omer, they said so only for someone who says that he meant, Hare hen alai korban, the fig should be like an offering to me, meaning, Bet Shemai agree that the person is not a Nazir, but if he, exp- Bet Shemai agree that the person is not a Nazir, but if he explains that he meant to prove it, fix to himself like an offering, his declaration counts as a nedel vow, and he may not eat figs. A person may prohibit any food to himself by declaring that it should be like an offering for him, like we learned in chapter 1, Mishnah 1, in Mesech Nedarim. Bet Hillel disagree and permit him to eat figs since they regard the declaration as meaningless. According to Rabbi Yehuda, Bet Shemai agree with Bet Hillel that the person is not a Nazir. However, Bet Shemai ruled that if he intended to make a nether against eating figs, it is valid because the word Nazir implies to abstain. Bet Hillel, on the other hand, regard his vow as meaningless and permit him to eat figs. If he does not explain that he intended his vow to be a nether, all agree that he is permitted to eat figs.
And that is on Abu Taif to this Mishnah Yumi. Everybody should have Yeshivu Atov. Bauch Adonai Leolam. Amen v'amen.